Hey Snackers, in episode 28, Mo Vizwani covers how you can accelerate application delivery by standardizing how to configure applications, networks, security, and storage. Hey everyone, Matt Napoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with the Cisco DevNet program. Hey everyone, uh, this is Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Welcome to episode 28 of DevNet Snack Minutes. DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10 minute all things DevNet, giving you a quick fun way to learn about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff that we do here at DevNet. Now, a few weeks ago, you guys might remember, we spoke with Andrew Horgan about infrastructure as code, and more specifically the partnership with uh, HashiCorp uh, where we built out the intersite uh, service for Terraform and talked about some infrastructure as code concepts uh, in that discussion. Now, today we have a special guest who's going to be joining us to talk about some of the actual direct use cases that you can leverage those services for. My name is Mohit Vaswani. You can call me Mo, which was easier. Uh, I'm the lead technical solution architect for uh, intersite service for Terraform, focusing around automation and orchestration. And, you know, I think the, the, the thing that our audience is probably more interested in is, is how we can use that. So, uh, in our previous discussion with Andrew, we had kind of an introduction to infrastructure as code and talked about, you know, it in a, in a grander type of uh, way. But um, I think what would be kind of helpful for our audience is kind of your perspective on how we can use um, Intersight, the service uh, for Terraform as well on, on Intersight to, to help us kind of Automate automate our infrastructure. So just want to just re restating some of the key value prop here, right, guys? Is that you know our focus is around automation and orchestration on premise using infrastructure as code. That's why the partnership with Cisco and HashiCorp, and also in a hybrid platform. Keeping that in mind, the way I look at it is, you know, there are like five. When I talk to customers, right, they're kind of I look at five different pillars that come up. There's application, network, security, storage, and infrastructure slash compute. So if I look at use cases that I work with customers around, they can either focus on either one of each of the pillars or they span across multiple pillars. So take, for example, uh, you know, we're looking at the whole app modernization space, right? Where I'm looking at Kubernetes, right? So focusing on that, uh, you know, Cisco, Cisco Intersight has a solution called Insight Kubernetes for Service, where we do a management of Kubernetes clusters. Uh, so you can actually don't have to worry about how Kubernetes works. Now, how do I how do I take into consideration of automating and orchestrating that, right? As an example. So with infrastructure's code, you know, the way I look at it, Cisco has two paths. One is we providing Terraform providers for our solution. So Intersight itself has a Terraform provider, ACI has a Terraform provider, MSO, et cetera. Versus the second path is the the introduction that we had with Andrew around Intersight Service for Terraform, where we we allow the secure execution of Terraform code on premise against all these providers. So consider the situation where some of our customers want to provision Kubernetes clusters for their DevOps teams, you know, to provision applications. I can use a combination of Intersight and Terraform Cloud to go ahead and provision Kubernetes clusters automatically within a matter of minutes. So with the benefits, as you may have heard in the last conversation around Terraform Cloud for business being the solution over open source, uh, you know, triggering Terraform code against Insight provider to provision Kubernetes the cluster, and then using using the integration that we have with the Terraform agents. Now I can hey download the kube config file automatically, deploy my application, and within a few minutes, not only do I have my clusters, but an application completely deployed. Right, so you're combining the pillars of application and and your infra. Now think about dropping in another pillar. Right? If I want to deal with networking, I want to do ACI. Right, so, so just think about the art of possible with Terraform, right, guys? What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I think this is you know it's pretty powerful to have that you know kind of visibility into your entire infrastructure with Intersight, especially in you know if you're talking about hybrid cloud where you have an on-prem and you know somewhere in in uh, you know public cloud. Um, from from a DevOps perspective, one of the things that we always ask and we look for is. Um, so now I've, I have manageability, I deployed, um, what does Intersight have that from an app developer that uh, help me look at how my application is performing? 
Yeah, absolutely, right? So so with, with Intersight, right? Intersight is that modular SaaS offering. It's, it's taking that journey from just infrastructure uh, to up the stack, where we're moving up that cloud to up to the cloud, right? So, so not only do we have what I talked about, you know, the first aspect of you know the day one provisioning where we're dealing with inside service with Terraform with Terraform Cloud for Business, but think about the other options that we have where we have solutions such as IO and dealing integrations with App Dynamics, right? So you have that observability factor that comes into play where I can look at my application stack and say, hey, how how is the stack doing? How am I how is performance doing? Can I optimize the stack? Right? What how do I right size the stack? Right. So Intersight is that whole holistic solution that provides a lot more than just, hey, I want to provision infrastructure, taking up the stack, you have uh infrastructure as code, you have a solution such as ICO, which is your Intersight Cloud Orchestrator, which is another solution we introduced in May, which is your workflow designer to build more complex workflows around and to enhance that infrastructure as code, if you may experience. You have IVO, which is Inside Workload Orchestrator, I know too many acronyms uh, for workload optimization. You have IKS, which I talked about, Inside Kubernetes Service for provision Kubernetes. So you can just see the stack grow, which what coming back to the use case, right? You no, know, we want to provide that for our customers, right? You want to go from start to finish, and Intersight is providing that stack for you, right? From every from the point of infrastructure, the you know the hardware up to just observability of the applications that you're provisioning. This is a really exciting opportunity, I think, for developers. I mean, there's obvious there's obvious benefits for DevOps engineers and practitioners. Uh, but for developers, um, you know, it gets them closer to understanding what needs to be dealt with. Um, and it does give them that opportunity to then think about optimizing their code, optimizing their application across, um, you know, multi-domain or multi-cloud deployments. Um, so that's super exciting. Yeah, I was I was just on a call right before this with, with you know, a customer and we're talking about automation across network with ACI. And they're not, they're still starting to embark on the Terraform journey. And, you know, they had you know, so many clicks that there's, there's a chance for human error, right? But I, I I don't have, I might, there's all these snowflakes around, you know, there's no way to make things standardized. It's not repeatable. So so with, with, with infrastructure as code and our enablement of provisioning that on premise, we're making, you know, things that would take hundred clicks, you can doing it in one click essentially by running that Terraform code and automating everything in a standardized fashion. So it becomes a lot more easier, right? Which, which basically at the end of the day, you're accelerating application delivery, right? Because at the end, it's all about applications. So if I can standardize on how I configure my application, network, security, storage, it, it makes a big difference to our customers. Yeah, and, and having that kind of cloud enablement story move to on-premises is, I'm, I'm sure, super exciting with organizations. Oh, the hybrid. That's right. We're not only about on-premise, we're about hybrid, right? Think about now extending that to hybrid. If I want to push my application servers on, on, on the public cloud, my database on-premise, for example, just a simple example, we build that connectivity. You know, that's what we're about, building the connectivity between public and private. That's the, Think about all that being automated. Right, that is my Nirvana use case that I wish I could. I had the time to build, but using infrastructure as code, using Intersight Service or Terraform to build that entire setup uh, in in a few minutes, you know, deploy the entire like you know ACI. We have we can actually work with third party vendors. We can look at app dynamics, tetration, you know, put all that all these solutions into the mix to give this holistic approach to you know applications. Not to mention managing your resources. Uh, appropriately for cost savings, right? So with, since yes. you have a single pane of view across your entire infrastructure, Absolutely. wherever it is, right? At yeah. this point now, you can make a decision whether to, to kind of destroy or expand based on your demand yeah. and the, the geo demand. So that comes in super handy, especially from a cost uh, efficiency. Yeah, it, it, exactly. You're talking about cost optimization, understanding how to optimize my workloads. It's, it's really crucial when you want to save on money. This has been an awesome conversation, but we uh, ask all of our guests this um, before we we uh, we end our show. Um, if you have one superpower, uh, what would that be? Oh, that's you know actually that is a really tough question because uh, you know should I could I be Superman? Could I could I read <laughs> minds like Professor Xavier? I, sure, oh, man, that is hard. Uh, I wish I could. I think I wish I could grant wishes. 
the world needs, you know, so much, so much with all the stuff happening right now, you know, the world needs some hope. Bringing some yeah, hope totally. would, would be my would be my superpower. That's all the time we have today. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about infrastructure as code or interacting with Intersight for your infrastructure as code um, development, uh, you can head up to developer.cisco.com slash IEC, uh, hands on with learning labs, access to the Terraform providers and uh, information on the use cases that we talked about with Mohit today. So uh, thank you guys for joining us with Snack, uh, with Snack Minutes today and catch you next time. Take care, guys. Nice talking to you all.